a total of 3 billion Kenya shillings is going to be paid out to all the facilities. Health CS Susan Akumisha has assured Kenyans that health services will not be halted because of delayed payments. The beginning of finding a solution is knowing and acknowledging the problem, which this reports is a clear indication of where the problem is, and therefore I'm confident that we are going to find solutions. As a ministry, we are fully aware that the economic gains Kenya has made over the past years can easily be reversed by crippling healthcare costs. While launching the Health Facility Census report here in Nairobi, Nakumisha says the health sector is key to our country's economic growth. Workforce shortage is most biting at the level two facilities, and 4% of those facilities at level two had none of the required health personnel. The report has indicated that there is need for the Ministry of Health to upgrade the health facilities across the country, with 12 counties being cleared to have met the WHO threshold. Of all the facilities in this country, only 7% are ready to provide services. WHO recommended is 23 per 10,000 population, and only 12 out of the 47 counties have met that threshold. Nakumisha says the changes made to the healthcare laws have seen growth in the ministry's workability. Today, the data has exonerated the ministry. That of all the facilities in this country, only 7% are ready to provide services. And that only 6% of the Tresa pharmaceutical services are available in facilities. The Ministry of Health is confident that this report is going to help in ensuring the workability of various health facilities in the country is improved, hence ensuring that the universal health coverage is achieved in the country. Vera Alberta, 247, Nairobi.